Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Brooke Lennington. Just moments ago, we learned who the man is that died in that construction accident. 66-year-old John Zybel and another man fell from a forklift earlier today. The men were working on a home near 6th Street in Iowa in Holton. Zybel was killed in the accident and the other man is seriously hurt. KSNT News reporter Raina Garcia joins us live from the Jackson County Sheriff's Office to tell us how people who live in that community are reacting tonight. Raina? Brooke, it's been about eight hours since the accident happened. And while we don't know exactly what caused it, I spoke with some people who came by the scene after hearing what happened, and they say anytime something like this happens, everyone in the community feels the effects of it. Brian Thompson was getting tools out of his garage when he heard a loud noise. I thought it was a car crash, uh, and I, I didn't go look, uh, and it wasn't until uh, a neighbor told me what had happened that I found out. First responders from five agencies rushed to the aid of the two men. A forklift holding the two men had overturned while they were doing some work on a three-story house, causing them to fall from about 30 feet in the air. Candelaria Alcantar says one of the victims was a family friend. I was shocked. I was really shocked because it was just unbelievable. He's a good guy and you wouldn't think something like that would happen to someone like that. While the community may be small, their hearts are big and their support for one another runs deep, especially during tragedies like this. Something like this isn't a normal thing, but uh, even on much smaller issues, uh, you can expect to see people coming and seeing if they can help. The sheriff says it's unclear what caused the forklift to tip over and the incident is still under investigation. Live in Holton, Raina Garcia, KSNT News. All right, thank you so much, Raina. Now, we did look into how common these types of workplace accidents are. According to the United States Department of Labor website, there have been more than 350 reported workplace deaths across the country this year. It's important to note, though, that the list only includes cases investigated by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA. Two of those reported deaths happened in Wichita 